Oh, and welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft 1.6.4 Agrarian Skies. That's right, everyone. Let's see, episode uh, 18. What we will be doing today is I finally got the applied energistic system up and running. I have it running nice and well. Lag is spectacular for some reason, so. But what we will be doing with involving these things here, if um, everything should be going right, is that these things should be getting ready. I made lots of Emmy storage devices, and I moved most, oh, actually all my storage, into here, and I'll be continuing to do that. I also made um, what you call, is that a pattern encoder? Okay, that's a that's an editor. Basically, what I did was I made sure that the metals all got stored here, and the Bees knees is all the bee stuff. So all my bees are working, I got everything done here. Right, what else are we going to be doing today? Well, I was actually waiting for a while so that I could actually make some... Basically, I need a little lot more stuff because we want to make an automatic crafting table. Also, I've gotten into the habit of using this book binder because I finally figured out how to use it. You right click on a book in order to open it, so I'm, I'm fine. It's like a, basically a big ebook. Okay, so what we're going to be doing though is uh, bees knees new. Bees and trees. I think it's bees and trees we're going to delve into. No, it was here? No, I think it was this one. No, we already did that one. Um, genetic sampler. Genetic imprinter. Genetic sampler, genetic imprinter, valiant queen, valiant indexer. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I, no. Um, <laughs> we're not doing that yet. Actually, let's see. Genetic. Let's see. Because we have to do some of these anyway. Genetic, sampler, and genetic imp Whoa, lots. Ooh. I bet that requires... Yep. Let me guess. That one requires one too. Yep. It's imprinter and sampler both require it. I have no clue what I'm doing though. Okay, well, that's great that this closer and closer I get to this place, the more and more it lags. So let's see what else we can do. Learning to skyblock, hell's kitchen, fighting. You're for the hoarding, right? So there's digital s there's digital storage, which we're, we're, this is what we're going to do. Because... Yellow heart canister. I have no clue what that is. We're going to make these. We're going to get this over. I actually made a pattern encoder, so I already made that. I thought it was actually the other thing I was looking for, the one that could actually make me... Basically, I'm making the storage devices only accept that item. Unfortunately, though, it messed up. So, yeah. So, I accidentally made a pattern encoder, but we'll, we'll figure that out. Okay. So, applied energistics. Mods. Um, for God's sakes. Mods! Applied energistics. Now, what we want is... We're going to need... 32 walls. Let's get started. Okay, that's pretty easy since all it requires is gold and iron. And funny enough, all that stuff's here. So let's go ahead and grab, like, a good bit of gold. Where the heck is my gold uh, bricks? I should have a few. Let's see. I'm going to say at least two stacks. Because I think two stacks and then an extra stack just in case. And then grab, like, a good bit of iron. Cause I bet that requires at least two stacks as well, but I'm also gonna put like another stack in there just so that we can have extra ready for us for when we do crap. It's because we're gonna need it here and then again here. Done. So then we're going to need. I think we're gonna need like a good bit of those. So let's go ahead and put the wall. Right. So R. Nope. It wasn't gonna work there. That's right, because technically this mode is on, let's actually finally get out of this mode. There's no need to be in this mode. I'll just have to turn it over every episode to go back to recipe mode so that I can actually do this. There we are. Now we need 32 of these. Wow, I need a few more pieces of dust. Um, dust. Do we have any dust left? Let's see. Yes, we do. We have a little bit of dust. I need just two. So out of the inventory, go here, and there we are. We have 32. Now, why do we need 32? Well, <coughs> I'm actually going to build this, like, basically right underneath it. Right underneath me. Ooh, that's not going to work, is it? Ooh, I need a 4x4 four four area, funny enough. So, I might just do it behind here, then. So, let's grab one, two, two. Get to this one. Well, I'm going to need four. Okay. One, two, frickin' four. Okay. Basically, here we go. Um, uh... Let's see how we're going to do this. Hmm. Hmm. Here. So it's all, like literally it's it can connect to it almost any way we want cuz I'm not I'm not going to build in this direction for the B stuff. I'm going to build more out the other way. 
This is the beginning. We're making the walls. Now this is basically like the containment area for the thing. The actual this is actually just like the structure, the um, frame. There we go. The frame. Um, the walls are what make the wall. I mean the heat vents are what make the walls, and then the inner workings of the CPUs and the pattern providers, which is another thing we're going to need. So and that should give us a nice looking system here. No, you don't. Okay, that's right, you die for it. That's a piece that is, in my opinion, rather expensive. So we're going to get that done. I think this computer needs more RAM or s processing power. I don't know which one. So here we go. There we go. Okay, now next. Clear that. Funny enough. And we go back to this. Go to Mods, Applied Logistics. Unfortunately, you watch, watch this. It's going to try to revert. I don't know if it will or not. Okay, what we need is Applied Logistics. Now what we need is the heat... Vi heat there you go heat uh, heat vents which will require iron bars one that's okay remember we need 24 so that's going to be four eight four eight twelve oh my god I'm terrible 16 20 24 okay like so and we're also going to need something else for what we want to do now that's going to require plastic or glass now to be honest easier one is plastic in my opinion because we're going to need a lot of wires and it actually requires plastic and so we're going to get the plastic done here so yes I have bricks going because I needed some more bricks for the smeltery that thing I made over there and so we're also going to need a lot of dust now fortunately after a while I'm talking about a while um, I don't know if I have any redstone in here I think I like have very small amount of redstone. Yeah, I do. Um, after a while, I literally just was like, hey, let's see what we can do with all the stuff we have. So, what I did was, there we go, 22, I need 24. Wow. Thank you, freaking whatever you are. Go do it. So I can have 24 ready for this bloody thing. Wow. Okay, we're going to need six of these. Now, what I was talking about was, I don't know what I was talking about. Great. I was, I get distracted so easily. I'm not, I'm not ADD, it's just, it's Minecraft. <laughs> I mean, the amount of organization I put into this game, as well as the amount of the uh, fun I can put into this as well. So, like so, we're going to need the dust, the Fluix dust, like so. Oh, it gives me four! Well, look at that, and apparently we already had some in the system. So, what we're going to need now is to put the two here, and then what we need to do is put... Where are the... Um, we need iron. Iron. And... These things. 22. Or is it 24? Is it 24? It's 24. God damn it. Okay. We'll get that done in a second. Right now what I'm doing is I'm just building this thing. I've never built this before, by the way, guys. I've never had an automated crafter. This is my first automated crafting system I've ever had. So, yeah. And I'm just going to do it like this so that we can actually get into it without a problem. So, that's my first automated crafter. This is going to be interesting. So, so far so good. It looks nice. Okay. Oh, we ran out of iron. That's weird. That's like the most I have too. Where's all my iron? Hey, let me guess. It's all the way down here. Yep. I have to get out of there by pressing escape. There we go. Drop those off in there. One, two. Heat vents. Two to be exact. Good. Because that's what we needed. And we'll keep two there. Okay. Now what we need is CPUs. Not Soyuz. CPUs. Oh my god. How hard is it to make this one? Oh, it's not that bad. Um, going to need one, two, three, four, five of these. I want five of these ones, which is going to require some redstone and some diamonds. So, and I suggest we grab more gold and some more diamonds from here. I'm just going to grab as much diamonds this thing can supply me. I'm going to apply much gold and iron this thing can supply me, which it's been wor running for a while, so it's going to continue to do that. I'm also going to make this system a lot more efficient with them. Um, Apply energetic so it doesn't lag me out as much. And actually, I'm going to check down here to see something. It is doing its thing. Good. Okay, let's also stop that. 
Right, so now that's going to continue to do its thing. We just need to go ahead and grab things. Now, unfortunately, I think I ran out of... Where's the dust? I think I used it all up. No, I think I have a little bit left. The, uh... I have no clue. This is why we need to have this all completely part of the same system. We're going to need one of these. We're going to need one of these. And we're going to need... Because I think my other one broke. And then we're going to need one of these. Um, maybe it's the other way around? Yeah, I think it's the other way around. Okay! That sucks. Right. Fucking fantastic. Okay, quartz thing. Okay, let's see what else we need to do. Uh, I think we can go with making a c CPU. Click here, click here, click here. Diamonds, we don't have enough redstone. I need to grab a stack or two. And then after that we'll have five CPUs. We need five pattern providers, by the way, which means we're going to need a little bit more quartz. So let's grab like a few stacks of quartz and anything else I need to grab, just in case a stack of this. Then we should be good. Because I think we're going to need some... Since we're going with five, we're also going to have to make some of those weird little weird processor things. So, you have no clue what I'm talking about. It's in my mind, but it's not in your mind. Okay, CPU. CPU. Right, so... Right here, right here. And then do this again. One, two, three, four, five. And I think the pattern provider... Pattern. Pattern. Pattern provider also requires one themselves. So we're going to need... Are we out? Oh, we're we basically out. Um, one, two, three. There we go. Have this whole system doing its thing. Just clear it out. Go over here. Do its thing. Get raw plastic. And here we go. Okay. Now that should give that a second. What else should we do? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. I have no bloody clue. <sighs> I have no clue. I am literally sitting here staring at this thing, not knowing what to do. Mm! Okay. Okay. CPU. Those are going. Those are getting. Those are doing their thing now. So let's actually take one of these and let's do this, and then drop this off into here. We need eight of those. Okay. C CPU. Okay. Let's try that. We need more glowstone. I think it's downstairs. I do not know. Also made some grilled cheese. Don't like them. I prefer beef. So I'm going to be setting up an automated killing spree. And milking. Because, you know, in case... Because I want a grilled thingy. Uh, what did I come down here for? This is what happens when you ramble. You have no clue what's going on. Oh, uh, mm, glowstone. Okay, remember. I was, ma I was mainly using the glowstone for... Uh, what's it called? Uh... The thing over there that does the mutagen thing for bees. I'm going to be using that a lot more. It's really good. I, can't, I bet the gene thing is equally as good. So, okay. We need one, two, three, four, five. Yep. Five crafting CPUs. And I can't even fit in there. Just realize that. Isn't that great? So, right here. So, one, two, three, four, five. We need three pattern providers now. Which those things are... This one is the hardest one. Right. Pattern providers. Conv... How many of those do I have left? Because I need one, two. So I need two for every one. I need three. So I need at least six. I've got seven. Yes! Okay, that's good. I've got seven. Right. Okay, then. Let's get this thing done. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's what's really nice about the system. You literally can just fly by doing things. And unfortunately, now I have to make some of these. And I need... Three. So let's go ahead and do the gold thing again. So out those go. The way of the dodo bird pattern. Way of the dodo. Basic. Okay, that was bloody stupid. Right, right here, there, there, here, here, here. One, two, we just need two. You get cooking up in there. It's done there. Right. And. Oh, this is going to be so great. And right. Oh, I hate technology. It's magic is so much easier once you have a good setup. Because this one just takes bloody ages. Magic doesn't take this much. It just takes resource gathering. Uh, let's see. Six. Uh, patter. 
Plus it's not as finicky as Bloody Magic. Um, okay, we're going to need... The reason we made those actually was so that we could make these. One, two. Clean that up. We're going to need one, two, three pattern providers. So one, two, three. And, oh, I already had like 64 in my inventory. Right! So, god damn it! Like so. Um, now what does this do? Well, this is an automated crafter. That's right. It will automatically craft things for you. It is one of the best things in the world and we've just completed it. This is the first, now may I mind you, this is the first time I've ever built this and I just messed up. Alright, okay, give me a second. Okay, and it, you'll know when it's done because it will do this whole like, it'll render thing. It's done! Okay, good. I believe I need a wire to connect it real quick and we should be fine. So, an Emmy cable, right? And we and remember that an Emmy cable connect can connect anywhere to it, so we'll be fine. So, like so. Connected. Now, it's basically useless until we get patterns. Now, what are patterns? Well, right here. Blank patterns. Which require... Okay, now the first thing we're going to teach this system... Now, the reason you need a pattern encoder is the following. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Clear that out. Cle clear. Clear. Okay. Basically, as you can see, th we need glowstone. We need quartz. We need iron. And we need glass. So put quartz here, put the glowstone where it belongs, put the iron here, and we're going to need some glass, and put the glass here. Right? So these are the things we need to make a blank pattern. Now we encode it. So basically what we're doing is we're saying, this is what we need to build, here you go. Now that means it's going to go in here, and it will rest. Now it's actually showing me the blank pattern. So now we have another one, have you noticed? So I'm going to make one for glass. Now this is different the way you would do it the other way. Now if you notice, glass requires that you use a smelter because you're going to need glass, you need sand to make glass. So it requires that you use a smelter. Now unfortunately I don't think I have any sand, which is going to make it hard, but I know I have glass. So I might be passing the sand being completely blind, but I'll throw some gravel into here so that it just gravels up the thing to give me some glass. So what we're doing is we're basically telling the system we need this item. Craft it for us. Now the problem is if you noticed, once I drop my items off into here including here right, we've got a bop of sand, right? So it says that we need one sand. Okay, clear. It's not telling me what we can make because there's no crafting ba table that will make sand into glass. So do this and we encode. Okay, now you're going to think, well, we're going to put it in here. We can't. Now you see back there it says it's red. The reason is because that can't create glass. It does not have smelting capabilities as a smelter would. So what are we going to do? Well, the, remember the people gave us the import bus, right? Well, that means that I can actually import from here. I prefer using not as an advanced import bus. They're cheaper and basically a lot nicer in my opinion. But once again, that's me. So, here, right? Okay, and then let's go grab some more Emmy cable. Emmy cable, which will, we just need two off. So we connect this to the system, which it will output. Let's see, is it the back there? I think it's the back. I have no bloody clue. Yep, I think that's the back. And we're going to have it output the back, right? So that means it's going to output from the back. So what else do we need? Well, Remember we made it, we made it, actually, if I can go to it and remember the bloody name. Um, remember that thing we made? Yeah, the ME interface. ME interface. I can't spell. There we go. ME interface. This is it right here. We're going to have to make some more of these processors, which is another thing we're going to teach you this lovely system. Let's make, I don't know, as many as, as much gold as we have. So as you can see, now watch. We're going to do this. And you're going to notice that as soon as it's finished, it's going to leave. It's because it's actually going back into the system thanks to the import bus. Now there's two kinds of buses, import and out export. The import bus will import it into the system or bring it in. The export bus will leave the system, meaning, you know, if you want to have like combs go through this thing automatically, it will automatically go through the thing. So we have that done. And now we can actually go back to the ME interface, which needs to actually click up here or else we're going to get bugs interface interface right and then we can do this and then like so we need 
yeah, just do that. Just do that. Just the amount we have. And then do that again, and like so. And we're missing loads of glass, funny enough. Like so again. Now have it so that it incomes from the top, and you'll find out what we're doing. So let's actually grab one of these cables, because we're going to need an extra one anyway, and do like so. And give it a second. M E nope wrong one up top. M E enter. Like so. We should be done. Yes, we are. Now what we can do is like this. There's the M E interface. Now you have no clue what this thing does. Well, since a crafting table cannot po since this thing is not like this thing is just a basically a massive automated crafting table. That's all it is. A three by three or two by two crafting table. It doesn't know how to smell, it doesn't know how to pulverize. These are mini crafting tables, in my opinion. You notice how we've got the glass here? It'll happily do the things we n ask for. Now, as long as we have sand in the inventory, which we should have sand here, right? So let's say we need sand. Now, at the very bottom of this thing, since we're missing sand, since we're missing glass, we can actually ask to craft. I remember we had that. So watch. This thing just dumped sand into the inventory from here because the processing is the sand which means it'll go back through the system thanks to the intake bus or the import bus I mean and go back in here so get now we can actually ask well, since we've asked for sand we've only got one of it yes but we can make another one of these in import buses which we're going to put I mean what interfaces which we're going to put right here so there you go and we're going to continue to do this now if you notice we don't actually have to connect this to here because it's all connected through a line and I'm going to do this for the rest of these, and I'm also going to put import buses for the rest of these, except the ones that require liquid. Those are going to have a different setup. But as you can see, now the system has become more efficient. And we've, we can actually now start trying to make blank patterns. But there's a thing about that, though. For instance, okay, I want a few more of these to be patterns, right? I believe we've run a glowstone for patterns, right? Patterns. I believe we've run a glowstone. What we okay, let's say okay, it will actually tell us, right? Actually we need a, we need a crafting terminal to know, so we'll have to wait. Because I don't have the bloody time for that. Okay. This. Yeah, I think we ran out of we ran out of glass as well. So what we're gonna need is some more a, a bit of extra put the dust in the system. Um let's grab some gravel and some sand and stuff so that you can get started. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually let this thing grind up some of that so we can make sand. Well, I hope you enjoy this episode. I think we should actually claim our reward for doing all this bloody work. I think there's a reward involved. Yep, claim reward. Now, as you can see, I got four more Emmy interfaces. Well, <laughs> I, I didn't know that. Okay, and we've got a greater bag. How trolly is this one? What does the book do? Eh, haste. And then I think we also got a heart canister. What do you do? Uses? Oh! No. Oh, look, I got an extra heart! Woo! There we go. So now what we have an assembler, and we have something that can make us glass. I'm going to teach it how to grind up c cobble into other thing. Into, um... Going to teach you how to grind up cobble into oh by the way though I forgot to warn you this does take up a little bit more energy it is a bigger system so it's five megajoules per tick now I don't know megajoule to RF I don't know that one I'll learn it between episodes actually and then I'll get back to you on that but that means that you might end up having a deficit fortunately for me I have this thing just ticking away with so much lava which I'm actually planning on adding another system into this so that it's going to be a lot faster. It's this system here that's a big problem, which I'm going to basically update to an ME system because it's quite laggy. Um, I look at it and I drop seven frames, so it's one of those things where it's like, no, no. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode because I actually enjoyed it. This is the first time I've ever made a crafting automated crafter. So, until next time, guys, ta ta. What a lovely end. Well, Time to start my exploring. Small island I'm on. Oh well. Let's see. You, well, I mean, they should know about the how to subscribe button. It is underneath my videos every single time. And, you know, you could add me to your favorites, but it's also right in the same area. Ooh, and there's also going to be that big subscribe button in the middle of the screen right about now. And then there's the next button, and then there's the previous button, and then...
Yeah, yeah, I think I'd do pretty good. Uh, but um, I don't really know. But you should, you should, you should subscribe. You, you should, you should subscribe, and like my videos today. I'm not really know where I'm going, but with all this. But it, it would be nice if you subscribed. It'd be a great thing. But um, but what is that? What? No, 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 no.